Hello yellow fellows, um, it is Baldy Chris once again and we are back to yellow sticker madness um, as you can see, look, there's a, a yellow sticker front and centre straight off the bat um, so yeah, after a little bit of a magic bag shenanigans hope you managed to catch that video as a little bonus one to the earlier week of magic bag series I did um, yeah, back to just in a regular weekly shop now um, for the time being at least and you can see I've been to, to Tesco um, it's a relatively small size Tesco's. It was formerly a Jack's and uh, got rebranded as Tesco's when Tesco, the parent company, decided to close off the Jack's stores. Um, my options for Tesco superstores are not nearby, so that's why I've gone there. Anyway, um, we have start off with what's probably going to be my dinner for tonight. Some uh, Tesco finest porcini and black truffle mezzalune, um, which I think means medium moon but i don't know i don't really speak italian anyway they look like raviolis basically but it's quite posh and uh, they were basically half price at 163 so still a little bit pricey but it's going to be nice and quick to make so that's nice and um, then i've got some spinach and ricotta tortelloni which is not finest but i'm sure i've had similar before and i'm sure it's very nice even if not literally the finest um, that's also half price at 90p, I think. I think they were pretty much patterning out at 50% on the um, the yellow sticker stuff that they did. There was a fair bit of stuff. No particularly enormous discounts, which you know I like. And stuff that I was sort of struggling to put an actual meal together with. So the, um, the pasta one's there, nice and easy. I've got some Lloyd Grossman stuff in the cupboard. Not actually Lloyd Grossman himself, just a jar of his pasta sauce. And a fun fact for you, he used to be the singer in a punk band, if you can imagine that. You'd have to be very old to remember it, um, and have quite a keen interest in small, <laughs> small name punk bands. I don't think they were on the same level as the Sex Pistols, for example. Anyway, what else we've got? We've got some more spinach and ricotta stuff, some cannelloni this time. Um, oh yes, I forgot to say actually, all of these were freezeable. That one's probably tonight's dinner, but that'll go in the freezer. These are freezeable as well, um, I got two of those because there were two of them. Bit better than half price, one thirty eight for those, so they'll be going in the freezer. Um, these these won't. These are my pre dinner snack, obviously, and like that that lot is quite vegetarian. Um, you do know me; I like to be a bit carnivorous, so I'm having some chicken poppers as my pre dinner snack. They were nearly two thirds off, um, eighty four pence for those. Um, so I'll have those. Um, this is um, probably going to go with tonight's dinner. It'd be quite nice to dunk into, I should think. So we've got a vintage cheddar boule, um, which was quite high price to begin with at two twenty-five for, for what's essentially a loaf that would probably be a little bit awkward to make sandwiches out of because of the size and shape of it. Um, but I'm sure it'd be tasty enough. Um, that was that was eighty percent off, I think fifty-six. It's not quite 80% off, is it? It's getting that way anyway. 56, didn't think that was bad. I'm sure if I heat that up, um, that will go very nicely as to, to dunk in the, um, the, the mezzaluni and whatever sauce it is. I think it's a tomato and sweet pepper. Right, what else do we have? Got a, a pudding as well. Some sugar ring donuts. And they are, um, they were 75% off at 25p. Um, there we are, I'll even show it the right way up if you like, um, so not too bad. I've also got another pudding as well, which is a slightly more healthy option. Th those will be best before, um, so they'll last, in theory at least. They, they, they may tempt me, but hopefully there's a, at least a couple of days in those. Um, but I've also got some uh, some fresh strawberries, which are down at 90%, not 90%, 90 pence. So a bit better than half price there. And um, strawberries can go on the turn quite quickly. Um, these are best before today's date. Um, but they actually look um, decidedly unslimy, so hopefully I'll be able to use them for dinner, dinner, dessert tonight, and probably also tomorrow as well. And I've got some lacto-free cream to go with it, simply because it was cheaper than cream cream, um, especially when it's reduced down to 69 pence as well. So um, I don't really know what lacto-free cream will taste like hopefully still like cream to be honest but i'm sure it'll be nice enough we'll soon find out i'm sure uh, and then we've got another ready meal which again can be frozen so a little bit better than half price on this one as well one pound 35 
and, and a very low calorie count as well. I'm sure I've had this one before and it is actually quite nice as well. So stick that in the freezer and that'll be good for another time. Uh, equally, it would have done the job for, for tonight's dinner if I hadn't got an alternative uh, as well. So there we are. I think that was it for the actual yellow sticker items. And I've got one more reduced item. Um, but they did also have um, quite a range of low cost stuff as well. Um, so they've got the, the Hearty Food Co label was one of the discount labels they got in store. As was Growers Harvest. Uh, and then um, Stockwell & Co. Which um, is how Tesco is actually named. So you've got T.E. Stockwell was the guy who founded it. And it was T.E.S. Com and Company basically. So Tesco. Um, so they, these ones were doing an Aldi price match. So I think the beans were something like 27p. Um, the jam was 39p. It wasn't bad. The, the frozen peas, I think, might have been as little as 50 or 55, something like that. Let me have a quick check of the receipt, if I can see it. Um, do, 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 where are they? 55p for the peas, yeah. Not, but not bad. It's a decent sized bag of it as well. Um, what else we had to uh, Hearty Food Co Spaghetti, I think that was just 28 pence and the penne which is a little bit more, I can't remember the pricing on that one and then they got some soft drinks with the, the Stockwell branding as well and um, the coke and the lemonade, both just 26p typically discount colas can be pretty nasty but 26p I'm prepared to give it a go and if it is that bad I won't be too upset about having to pour it away um, I did get some some Tesco Coke as well, which might not be Coca Cola, but it's pretty decent, and it was only fifty p. So the the stock cross stuff basically half that price. Um, and then I got a, a plant jigsaw, double sided circular jigsaw, five hundred piece job, which I think was intended to essentially be a Mother's Day gift for people who were really running late with, with getting their mum's gifts and were shopping in the supermarket literally on Mother's Day. Um, so I think that was six quid originally. It's down to to one fifty now. Um, I'm sure I'll find a use for it at some point. I'm not not really a jigsaw person, but it's one fifty. We'll we'll give it a go. Maybe I'll give it to somebody's kids or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then what else? There was some frozen items in the uh, the cheaper ranges as well. There was the Hearty Food Company pepperoni pizza, which I think was only seventy five pence. Um, and then um, a decent sized bag of chips, which was about one sixty five. If, memory serves, I'm going to have to get them in the freezer um, before too long um, but yeah, so they, these were some decent ones to look at Eastman's was another one of the, the discount brand names that they got in store so I think we've got enough um, to fill sandwiches for a five working day week there, um, and that was just 86 piece. again they're price matching to Aldi so not bad um, at all, um, even if it isn't necessarily yellow stickered, it's still fairly decently priced. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I'm looking forward to trying that out with the, the pasta meal tonight. Um, so as ever, do, do do the liking, the sharing, the subscribing, that would be really nice. Uh, and yeah, if you want to get in touch in the comments, please do. I will read them all and you know, if I've got something to say, <laughs> I will say it and I'll, I'll do it as quickly as I can. Um, so that's it for this one. So take care of yourselves and hope to see you in the next Yellow Sticker Madness. Bye bye for now.